Wow! 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 wow. 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 T-Rex. 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 Tiny arms. T-Rex. Tiny arms. T-Rex. Tiny arms. What's up? What's up with those teeny weeny arms? <laughs> the T-Rex's arms were not that mm. functional. They weren't long enough to touch and reach its mouth. And its giant head stuck so far out, they couldn't get close enough to pick, pick anything up. <laughs> so, when they came to attacking its prey, those arms must have been pretty worthless. <laughs> worthless. Pretty, pretty worthless. T-Rex. 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 Tiny arms. T-Rex. Tiny arms. T-Rex. Tiny arms. What's up? What's up with those teeny weeny arms? <laughs> We now have a hypothesis, hypothesis, an educated guess that the T-Rex's teeny tiny arms <laughs> helped it to survive feeding frenzy. Hold on. Maybe they were meant to have short arms to stay safe when attacking its prey with all those gnashing teeth and snapping jaws. If you put your arm arms into the mix, the T-Rex would surely have its arms bitten off. This could lead to massive bleeding, bleeding, infection, T-Rex, 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 tiny arms, T-Rex, tiny arms, T-Rex, tiny arms. What's up? What's up with those teeny weeny arms? <laughs> How will we ever know for sure? For sure that the T-Rex's tiny arms <laughs> helped it to survive, survive, survive. We might not. Oh. It's pretty tough for even the best science scientists to, to, to prove a hypothesis after 66 million years. 66 million years, years, but it can show that it's time to start to start looking at the T-Rex and its tiny, tiny, tiny arms in a whole new way, 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 whole new way, in a whole new way, 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 way. way. T-Rex, 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 tiny arms, T-Rex, tiny arms, T-Rex, tiny arms. What's up? What's up with those teeny weeny, teeny weeny, teeny weeny, teeny weeny arms? arms. Soccer? Or as I like to call it, bee ball! Huh. You see, a group of scientists taught bumblebees to push a tiny ball until they scored a goal and won a reward! Huh. Buzz, buzz, buzz. While studying these bees playing, the, the researchers, researchers discovered something unexpected. Go on. The bees on the sidelines were also rolling balls around, 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 around. Wow. The researchers came up with the hypothesis that maybe, just maybe, the bees were playing just for fun. Scientists put their hypothesis to the test. test, test. An experiment? You know it. They put 45 bees into a tiny bee-sized arena with a clear path leading to a feeding area full of food. And let, let me guess. guess. They could either stay the course on the path leading to the food, or they could play with the balls. Exactoritos. And so... The bees ventured off course to play with the balls? You know it. This behavior suggests that the bees choosing to play with the balls was voluntary. Play for the sake of play. Wow! It's almost like the whole purpose of play is just to have fun. <laughs> Versus dog. Cat versus dog? Cat versus dog. Uh-huh. The age-old question may finally be answered. Which pet is scientifically the nicest? There's a new study that suggests that cats are just as friendly as dogs, and even some human babies. You don't say. Yeah, I do. Scientists took 117 cats and their owners and put them all in a room that they'd never been in before. Huh. And then, after a couple of minutes of having the two of them get used to the room, 
these scientists had the owner leave. Owner leave? Yeah? Yeah. Then, two minutes later, these scientists had the owner go back into the room so that researchers could observe how the cat acted with its owner once they returned. Very interesting. Cat versus dog. Cat versus dog? Cat versus dog. Dog. What did they find? Well, the researchers found that two-thirds of the cats... Two-thirds of the cats. ...came up to their owners to greet them when they returned to the room. And so, what does that mean? This means that the majority of these cats were securely bonded... Securely bonded? ...to their owners. Wow! These cats performed just as well on this experiment as human babies, oh. and they even outperformed dogs. Oh. Cat versus dog. Versus dog? Cat versus dog. Uh -huh. The age old question may finally be answered. Which pet is scientifically the nicest? Spider web. Spider, 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 spider web. Spider web. If we could supersize a spider web to human size, it would be five times stronger than steel. Wow! So researchers studied the molecules in spider webs, spider webs, so they could do the same with plant proteins. Yes, plant proteins, plant proteins. The protein taken out of soybeans. Yes. What in the world wide web? What in the world wide? What in the world wide? What in the world wide? Spider web. Spider, 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 spider web. Spider web. If scientists could use plant proteins to create a material that's as strong as a spider silk, as as strong as a spider silk, it could work the way plastic does. Yes, yes. They can make a plastic-like material that doesn't harm the earth, especially the plastics we use once and then just throw away. Spider web. Spider, 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 spider web. Spider web. This plant-based vegan spider silk is compostable, com compostable that can break, break down in a way that's helpful to the planet instead of hurtful. Yes, and creating it doesn't require anything from animals, and it can be an environmentally good alternative to all the plastic we humans use and waste, waste, waste every single day. Spider web. Spider, 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 spider web. Spider web. Plant proteins. Plastics made from plant proteins. Plastic protein spider web. Spider, 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 spider web. The center of today's poop scoop is the giant panda. Panda, panda, panda. Poop panda party. Poop panda party. Poop panda party. Hey, panda! Why are you covered in poop? There was a scientific study on pandas smothering themselves in poop? Yes! Researchers studied wild giant pandas in central China. Humans have been bringing horses through the Kingling Mountains to deliver supplies to farmers. Wow! wow. Here comes a horse now! Uh, That's a whole lot of horse poop. poop, 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 poop. The panda is using its paws to slather its body and face with poop. We interrupt this episode of Wild in the World for a brief bath break. Poop, poop, panda party. Poop, panda party. Poop, poop, panda party. Is there a hypothesis or educated guess as to why these pandas do this? Yeah, yeah, yes. Maybe by coating themselves in horse poop, these pandas help keep themselves warm in the winter. Ah, nothing like wrap, 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 wrapping yourself in a warm blanket of feces. Poop, poop, panda party. Poop, panda party. Poop, poop, panda party. Hey, panda! Why are you covered in poop? Scientists discovered horse poop contained two chemical compounds found in plants. They smeared these compounds on some mice 
and they stopped the mice's bodies from feeling the free, 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 freezing air. Wow! The giant pandas could be smothering themselves in horse poop to stay warm? Yes! yes. 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 There's strong evidence to suggest it, but just like any good experiment, the answers lead to more questions. Questions. questions.